On March the 21st at 3 p.m., the Tunisian Ministry of Health called G Healthcare, saying that there was a woman dying in a hospital that had no ventilator. I spoke to Mohamed Shabouni in Tunisia about this remarkable story. Uh, just tell me a little bit about what you've been doing in the in the circumstances under COVID-19. Yeah, I'm uh, based in Tunis, Tunisia. It is a small country in north of Africa. In our day-to-day -day job, we are servicing all GE healthcare medical equipment from A to Z. I mean, from installations to corrective and preventive jobs. And in light with this recent development relating to the COVID-19, our team has been focused to answer business continuity and serve our customers. So what is your day-to-day -day like at the moment? Uh, servicing our customers and saving people's life is uh, the first thing that helps us to, to get up from, from uh, every day. Uh, and we, for that, we have a war room every day uh, dealing with each an individual situation and putting all the option to, to deliver to our customer. There was an episode, wasn't there, where you had to get a ventilator to um, a patient that was uh, that, that was in desperate need of it. Can you just tell me a little bit about that story? Yes, this is true. Actually, it was on Saturday, March 21. It was 3 p.m., I, I remember, when a public customer called us to request or, uh, our help by providing urgently uh, a respiratory machine. Since they have a woman with a critical, very critical situation in the hospital, and unfortunately, there is no ventilator available at that time. So we, 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 we call it, we, we put uh, in, in place an urgent call altogether with different stakeholders. Uh, the warehouse has been opened, the machine has been prepared for delivery, and uh, and we install, we succeeded to to prepare, deliver, and install the machine within the next four hours. You can imagine, and the, uh, and the hospital is not in Tunis. It was two hours away from Tunis capital. It was in Sousse, and uh, it was a few situation where we cannot move uh, everywhere. Uh, we are lucky that we we worked hardly to secure specific authorization from the authority enable us to move around the countries and uh, we were able to to deliver the machine install the machine at night uh, i think we we left the site at 9 p.m or 9 30 p.m uh, and we are happy because two days later we heard that the woman was able to go home and she survived field engineers um, people like you that are literally going into the hospitals where the virus is at its most um, rampant, if you like, uh, you, you're, the, you're the teams that are, that are putting yourselves most at risk. How are you managing that personally and how are you managing that for the safety of your teams? I think we, we are here for a purpose. And knowing uh, what we are doing every day, Knowing how we help patients and save lives, that provide us, all of us, including field engineers, a great purpose and a reward. So uh, we, I, I remember that when we delivered the machine and we heard that the, the, the woman survived, that I remember that how, how it made our team proud of what we have achieved together. We were not just delivering and installing a machine. We were also creating a peace of mind for the family as well. So this is our purpose. This is what, what we felt at that time. And this is what makes us woke up every day motivated. Mohammed, thank you for sharing your story.